Over 400 MiG-21 aircraft of the Indian Air Force have crashed in the last 60 years, claiming the lives of over 200 pilots and 60 civilians. On Thursday, two pilots were killed when a MiG-21 trainer aircraft crashed during a training sortie in Rajasthan's Barmer, putting the infamous aircraft in the spotlight once again. The MiG-21 has been dubbed grim nicknames, such as the Widow Maker or the Flying Coffin, owing to numerous crashes since its induction into the Indian Air Force in the 1960s. But why are MiG-21 still in the skies? Despite crashes, why do they remain a backbone of the Air Force? First, we take a look at the long history of MiG-21 fighter jets and the Indian Air Force. The MiG-21 is India's longest-serving fighter plane. India got its first single-engine MiG-21 in 1963, and since then it has inducted 874 variants of the Soviet-origin supersonic fighters to bolster its combat potential. Over 60% of them have been built in India by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL. However, half of the made-in-India MiG-21s have crashed, killing over 200 pilots. In 2000, Indian MiG-21s were upgraded with new sensors and weapons. It was in this modified MiG-21, that Wing Commander Abhinandan Vartaman shot down a F-16 fighter of Pakistan in 2019, a day after India had carried out air strikes in Balakot. According to experts, MiG-21s form the bulk of the Indian Air Force's inventory and that explains why so many of them have crashed over the years. More numbers, more use and more years in service translate into a higher number of crashes. Read, MiG-21 fighter jet of Air Force crashes in Rajasthan, both pilots dead the Indian Air Force had to keep MiGs longer in service due to delays in induction of new fighter aircraft. Due to delays, the IAF is facing a crunch to maintain a certain squadron strength to guard India's skies. Delays in the indigenous stages program, political controversy surrounding the Rafael deal and slow-paced procurement procedure meant that MiGs had to be kept in service longer than usual. According to reports, the MiG-21 had completed its retirement period in the mid-1990s. Until the government speeds up acquisition of new fighter jets to replace the aging MiGs, the Indian Air Force does not have the option then to use MiG-21s, piloted by young men, to bolster its squadron strength. So far, the government has focused on acquiring Pages fighter jets but a stop-gap program to buy 100 foreign jets has drifted for years without forward movement. As of now, the IAF has 32 squadrons against the 42 mandated by the government to tackle threats. The number could go down to 28 squadrons by 2024-25 when all the MiG-21s are phased out.